Uh, good evening again, modeling community. This is Martin from Martin's Model Shop, bringing you the final on this build that I did. It's a 50 Chevrolet pickup truck. I uh, did quite a bit of stuff to it. It's supposed to be a replica of uh, JJ the Boss on Street Outlaws um, Old Heavy. Uh, it's my kind of version of it. It's painted flat black, and uh, it's not exactly like his, but it's close enough for me. Um, it's got a lot of 3D parts on it, but I'll give you the spin around. It's got a turbo hanging out the front of the grill. And like I say, I chopped the top. And I made the tachometer and put wires in the back of it. I made all of the interior um, roll bar, things like that. It's not kit wheels, it's just some wheels that I had uh, laying around in the parts box. And uh, let me take the hood off for you. It's got in here, it's got a resin printed big block. I made the um, intake cover on my 3D printer. The motor's wired and it's plumbed with uh, all of the nitrous lines. The interior I did in tan just to make it different which you can hardly tell but it's in there and like I say I chopped the top this is the bottom it's got 3d resin printed independent front suspension on it solder the head is a solder head is uh, transmission and the chassis is cut in half in the back and it's got an aluminum drive shaft in it on it that I made. It's got an arid rear end, homemade coilovers and springs. And from right here on a chassis is 3D printed back. The rest of the chassis is stock from uh, you know the kit. And uh, like I say, the, the front end, all of these parts here are printed off of my uh, 3D printer. And um, I guess it has just a, a quickie build. I had a, a, you can see the springs will work on the back. The suspension actually works. Just some parts that I had left over and we just put it together and made that uh, replica of uh, J.J. DeBoss from Memphis, Tennessee. But it came out pretty good. Uh, these are all just sprue off the tree. You know, that's cleaned and sanded and painted. No, the wheels, if I'm not mistaken, the wheels came off of uh, the double dragster kit. Um, and the front wheels, I think, were on a Chrysler or something that I had in the parts box. But uh, the, the slicks in the back, those are homemade resin pour that I did. Um, I have a mold that I made. Uh, to print resin wheels and I can print uh, slicks or poor slicks I should say but anyway um, the motors are wired and plumbed it come out pretty good so this is uh, Martin from Martin's Model Shop I'll be signing out on this one this is the last video for the night and uh, like I say if you like what I did with it and how it came out uh, give me a thumbs up and if you haven't signed on to my channel I'd appreciate if you 
go ahead and do that. And uh, I'll answer any comments that you make because I appreciate receiving the comments. But um, anyway, so have a great evening. This is Martin from Martin's Model Shop. I'm signing out and God bless everybody and have a wonderful weekend.